Alexa, play that funky music, white boy. Play that funky music, white boy, by Road Rovers from Spotify. <laughs> What's cracking you too? Mmm. Alexa. Stop! That shit's crazy. Today, we have a very busy, busy day for you. It is February uh, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 3rd, I think, because the Super Bowl's tomorrow, so which is February 4th. So, this is just gonna be uh, a vlog, but I'm gonna be filming other videos throughout the day, which I'm gonna be putting up, and I think it's gonna be all cooking in the kitchen. So how to make protein pancakes, how to make a protein lava cake, and how to make, I don't know, maybe something else, maybe just those two. But it's a busy day, I wrote down my to-do list. As you can see, it's long as shit. Return some clothes, some shoes, laundry, email a couple people, buy a couple things, do a couple bloggy things. I'll take you along with me as always. All right, I'm officially convinced I'm a psycho. I'm on Amazon Prime, I can't stop buying shit. I'm buying a 1200 pack of Splenda. I love Splenda. That, I hope that lasts me for like four years. It's probably gonna last me like a month. And I'm buying a little pancake maker, check that out. There's like slots for eight pancakes. I'm fucking change the pancake game forever. You know what's crazy? So I work, all right, so I work for a marketing company and we use all these different partners. Like Amazon is one of uh, the partners that we use on a lot of our campaigns, our clients. And Amazon came into my office the other day. It was actually yesterday. And they were presenting to us, you know, just giving us their whole list of options and stuff that we could utilize from them. And they said that they accounted for, four, I think it was 43% of all online sales in the US in 2016. Think about how many fucking websites are out there, how many e-commerce businesses there are in the United States, and Amazon accounted for 43% of all fucking sales in 2016 online. That's insane, that's fucking insanity. Elon Musk, 2020. You're gonna tell me Elon Musk couldn't do a better job in the White House than fucking Donald Trump? Why, I don't understand, I'm not political, I'm not gonna get on a fucking rant here, but why not put the smartest people who built some of the most flawless businesses in the history of mankind in the White House. Let them build our country like they built their fucking business. I don't understand. Put Elon Musk in that bitch. Put Gary Vaynerchuk in that bitch. I'll go to war with Gary Vaynerchuk. We didn't believe me into the goddamn battlefield. I'm, I'm with you, dog. Looking for the gym in a minute. First, I gotta select what pair of shoes I wanna wear. I wanna show y'all. I picked up like three pairs of shoes this week. So I wanna show you guys what I'm working with. Boom, first pair, Nike Lunar Epic Fly Knit. These things are fucking kind of dope. They have this weird like ankle Achilles strap. I don't really know why they put them on, but I like it. I think I'm actually gonna return these. I might wear them today to the gym and then return them. Then I got some Jordans. I don't even know which ones these are called. I don't really care, but they're fresh as fuck. These ones already had them. And then I got the new Nike Air Max 27 Stains. I haven't bought a pair of Air Maxes since probably like 2010 or a pair of Jordans since I was like in fucking high school playing basketball. So I wanted to pick up a fresh pair. I'm trying to decide, what do I do, what do I do? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wear these today. Usually like if I see a sale, a like finish line will have one day like 25 or 30% off. So I'll be like, fuck it. I'm gonna drop a lot of money on shoes today. And then, you know, I'll try them on, I'll wear them for like, most of them have like 30, 60 day money back guarantees. So I'll wear them, see how I like them. And then I'll end up probably returning like, maybe I'll probably return the fly knits and maybe the Air Maxes. I don't love them. And if you're gonna pay like a heavy price for, for shoes, you should love them. Like I love me some ultra boosts, but I don't know, that's my philosophy. I do like them, but they're really fucking expensive to keep buying them, so I'm definitely keeping the Jordans. Probably gonna return those, and I'm debating whether or not to return these, but I actually do really like them. They're super comfortable. Just wanted to show y'all some pickups that I had this week. <clears throat> so is there ever done scientific studies to tell whether or not dogs can like see themselves in the mirror? Like obviously my dog can't because he's blind as shit, so he can't see anything, but like can dogs see themselves when they're looking at each other? Like who the fuck is this? It's not like they know what they look like, right? Look how disgusting he is. Oh, look what I just found in my mailbox as I'm taking out my mail. 
Yes, that's some Chick-fil-A sauce. That's been in there for a month, probably. And I totally forgot it was in there until right now. So I'm gonna eat that shit. Can make it, make it, boy. Gotta make it, make it. You can save your hand. I ain't got New Big Sean, boy. Boy. All right, so Big Sean came out with his new album this week. Three out of ten. I don't understand. He drops like the hottest fucking singles. Some of his music is like some of my favorite music ever. And then he puts out like the shittiest fucking albums. Like he uses the most mediocre beats and he just raps about like the same stuff over and over and over again. God damn it, Big Sean. Good morning. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Ah, game day. Ah. So it is February. Is it February? It's February 4th, 5th. I don't know. So I'm just editing up a video real quick. New recipe. Listen to some tunage. It's a little after 9 a.m. I'm gonna finish up this work. Probably gonna get a coffee from Duncan or Quick Check. And uh, you know, if anyone's listening for some new music, I do share. I have like three playlists that I made that I share on my website. So go check that out. B D G E A T. And I think there's like a music header on the top that you can click. And there's a three uh, Spotify playlist listed on there. I just found this quote from Bill Burr yesterday that I fucking love. Check that out. Read that for a minute. Or you can just pause your screen. I don't know why, but that, that quote hit me pretty hard. Put it in the background, I'll see that every day. I just think it's kind of wild that people my age that are like 22, 23, 24, 25, they just want to like complain all day, but they don't ever want to do anything about it. Like now is the time, if you're my age, like why not? There, there literally is no risk going after something that that you want, or if you have a goal, or if you, you know, if you have a, a, a job in mind that you want as your end goal, or what you want to do as a career or something, there's no risk in going for it at 22, 24, 25. What happens? You, you go after it for two years and then and then you're stuck in the exact same place you are now and you can go back looking for a job if it doesn't work out. It's it's just crazy the amount of people that won't do it and then think that, you know, something's going to magically, like some dude's going to appear on their front door and be like, oh, well, you know what? Here's that $10 million and that job you wanted. Like, no, now is the time to put in the work. Now is the time when you don't have kids, you don't have a family. You don't really have a lot of bills. And if you have a lot of bills, that's probably your fault. Stop buying fucking cars. Be smart. Obviously, you want things, but be smart about things. And if you want to go after something, go after it. Because now is the time to do it. You're going to look back when you're 30, when you're 35. And you guys all know this. Like, deep down, you know when you get older, you have something like here that you want to go after right now. And you know in 5 to 10 years, you're going to look back and be like, fuck. I wish I started when I was 22. I wish I started when I was 24, 25, 26. And like, that's like right now. I don't know what people wait for when, when they're thinking about doing that. And I know like everybody has had this kind of thought in them that they, they've had something, you know, it, it's to each his own. Not everyone's going to want the same thing. Not everyone's going to do the same thing. Everyone shows their creativity in a different way. And really what it comes down to is just people are just so concerned about what other people think about them. I think my entire generation is like this. If you want to do something, go fucking do it. If, you know, if, if there's ever something like cool or something unique or interesting that you want to go after, you'll never be able to do it if you're so concerned about what other people are, are thinking about you all the time. If you're worried about them judging you for not being normal, then that means all you could do is do normal things. Like you're gonna just work that nine to five for the rest of your life. You're gonna just do everything normally. Otherwise, you're gonna get judged for it. And that's just part of growing up and it's part of, you know, kind of getting out of your comfort zone, so. And YouTube's a way for me to kind of express myself. Some people do it through art, some people do it through music. Some people are just really fucking loud and do it through their everyday conversations and love to spread their, you know, their feelings and shit like that. But I think it's important for everyone to kind of have a, a side thing going on or be able to express yourself or be creative, you know? Like, I think it was two summers ago when I had a full-time job and I quit because I fucking hated it. It's actually like when I started BDGE. So I started writing fantasy articles for another person's website. And it was like, I was getting like $3 a pop for maybe 500 or 1,000 word essays on like player articles or something like that. And it was the most fun I've ever had doing work and actually getting money for it. 
So I was writing, I don't know, 10 of those a day, you know, 30 bucks a day for five days, $150 a week doing something that I really fucking enjoyed doing. And I learned so much from that. And that's when I created my website. I started learning about SEO. I started learning about online marketing, social media, and all those things. And that's kind of what it's built up. And I promise you, if you go after something, even if it doesn't work out, even in those two years, I guarantee you the lessons you learned in those two years will kill, will top the money that you would have made in salary from working a shitty ass job. Like, do you really want to waste your youth? You really want to go through your mid twenties doing shit that you absolutely hate and that you do not want to waste your time doing? I don't know. That's the question that I ask myself every day. I hate to get on this like emotional ass rant, but that's how I'm feeling right now. So, hey boo. Oh, Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I made it. So and we I gotta give turn it like, the volume off. <laughs> I give it like a four point seven. Out of 10. Four point seven. Out of 10. First bite. First song. I so. usually hate paparazzi and shit, but I'll let it slide. Yeah, you made me sign a waiver <laughs> that this doesn't get on the web. So we're going to the gym now. New York Sports Club. Uh, I'll probably do some back. I'm trying to focus on some lower bike. A little lower bike. Uh, I'm gonna do shoulders. I did legs yesterday. My ass is super sore, and I did chest two days ago. So we're gonna do. Some shoulder action. You got to get the workout in before the Super Bowl because we're gonna be drinking, we're gonna be eating, and it's a Falcons celebration tonight, baby. We're flying out to Atlanta if Atlanta wins, right? Oh yeah. Anyone from uh, Earth's channel, they follow him from Atlanta. Let us know the best uh, wing spot, the best yeah. strip club. We're really looking to get after it. Shout out to all the hoes that made it down to Houston. Go get it, baby. Be mature. <laughs> Grow up. This is a grown man mature adult channel. All right, just got back from the gym, finished the workout. Good pump. We got the good pump. Now it's time to make a little protein shake. Yes, that is spinach. I know you guys are gonna be like, that's disgusting, but I promise this shit is incredible. I got a recipe video coming out with it soon. I gotta upload it to YouTube. Brandon calls it the Hulk juice, so that's what we're calling it from now on, the Hulk juice. I promise it is flawless. This shit is so good. I'm gonna make that, drank it, and then we got a little Super Bowl party to attend to later. I'm gonna fuck everything about that game. All right, that's the end of the video. Hope you all enjoyed. If you got any questions, you want to say something to me, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Give me a thumbs up, please. And uh, go follow my social media, everything linked below. That's it. See y'all next time. We get it almost every night. And when that moon.